Nasdaq has powerful multi-location inventory management capabilities. If you're managing a bunch of warehouses, properties, or retail locations, you will be setting up multiple locations for your inventory. In this video, let's take a look at how to manage complex location hierarchies in Nasdaq. The first way is from the home screen. Look for the main menu icon, which looks like a hamburger. Tap on the main menu icon. You will see the expanded main menu. In there at the bottom, locate the browse icon, which is the second icon from the left. Tap on browse. Now head to the buy location tab. And here we'll see all the top level locations. Note that if you hit the orange plus on the floating menu here, this will prompt you to add items. That is because you're browsing items on this screen. But if you scroll down the list of locations, you will see a bigger plus cell at the very bottom, which says add a new location by tapping here. You can tap on that to create a new top level location. Here you cannot edit or delete locations. That's because when you tap on locations, it goes on to show any sub locations under the location and items in that location. For editing and deleting, we need to use a different way. This way is from the more screen. Look for the main menu icon. Tap on that to go to the expanded main menu. In there, look for the more icon in the bottom right corner that has three vertical dots. Tap on more. That will get you to the more screen and then tap on locations. These are all of your top level locations. When you are here, if you tap on the plus in the floating bar, it will take you to add location, unlike how it was in browse by location area. You can tap on any of the locations that would take you to the view location screen. Once there, you will see a pencil icon for modifying the location. Modify location allows you to rename locations, add, modify, and remove location description or location thumbnail, and add, modify, and remove sublocations. I'm going to cancel out of there and go back to the view location screen. You can delete the location by using the trash icon here. Yet another way to delete locations is from the location screen by tapping on the pencil icon in the floating bar. When you tap the pencil, you will see red circles to the left of all the locations. When I tap on that, it will prompt me to delete the location. If I tap on this delete to the right, it will delete the location. In this case, it will not let me delete because there are items at this location. Another function you can do when in this mode is to move sublocations. Now let's say I logged a bunch of items under shell P of aisle 3, but now I realize that shell P should have been under aisle 4. No problem. I would tap and hold on the three horizontal bars to the right of shell P to initiate a drag. Then I would drop it under aisle 4. All items in shell P have now moved to the new area. Easy, right? Now let's exit this mode in locations by tapping on the pencil icon again. So this is method two, which is from the more screen. The most flexible way of managing locations, believe it or not, is from add item or modify item screens. I'm in browse now and let me go to add item. I will choose the manual add option, which is the icon on the right hand side. Tap on the location and you will be in the select location screen. In there, you can tap on the pencil icon at the bottom right to transition the screen into edit mode. You will see the deletion circles to the left. And if you tap on any location, Nasdaq will take you to modify location. You can also add locations by scrolling to the bottom and tapping on the green plus that says add location. Tap on the pencil icon to transition out of edit mode into select location mode. There you go. Three different ways to manage locations in Nasdaq.